Hello YouTube. Um, I'll set up a kind of experiment to help you out in case you guys don't have no crony or or uh, just to give you an idea of the foot pounds. Um, I set up some cans, aluminum cans full of water, and I'm going to conduct some experiments to show you guys just how um, foot pounds can be applied to applications. Um, using the Crossman 760, I set up some uh, tests for the crony and, and find out what the gun can do. Now then here, I, I baseline the test for the cronies and I was got 620 and I'll be using that for my baseline and uh, then I'll set up cans full of water and, and test two foot pounds, three foot pounds, and five foot pounds and then I'll conduct a test or um, 10 yard test to see what I can get with five foot pounds. So here we have the five foot pound test and I'll be conducting it, uh, like I said, these cans are full of water. And this will give me a standard baseline. So I'll judge just what the penetration is. And uh, go from there as far as uh, seeing what the pellet will do. Now then, uh, this is the three foot pound test. And uh, let's see what the pellet's going to do on this one as far as going through and uh, here you see it, it penetrates fully two cans of water now this will give us an indication of what it's capable of and, and the third can is, is leaking a little bit so next is a two foot pound test and let's see what the two foot pound test can do now then what the idea here is now you can calculate for the velocity but the foot pounds is what really does the work. And here you can see it, it penetrated almost two cans, but not quite. A little dimple there, as you can see. So uh, this is actually uh, now then right here. You have to be able to place the pellet. I use a dime in this. Um, I put a mark around the dime. And basically at 10 yards or whatever the, the rank is, uh, you need to hit the mark. You need to either be within the mark or hit the mark to, to deliver the foot pounds. And um, here you see me uh, marking it with a dime, and then I'll set it at various ranges. And of course I'll do this on paper as well to test the gun, to find out what the gun is capable of. And, um, you know, of course it has to deliver the foot pounds to the kill zone to be very effective. So there we are. Now then, uh, all right, here's a, yeah, here's a test at 10 yards. I believe it was nine pumps with the Crossman 760 to yield five foot pounds at 10 yards. So I'm um, coming up and uh, here I reestablish that I can hit the bull and put the pellet where I need to put it and have the foot pounds I need. Now here again is another five foot pound test. This confirming that I can put the pellet where I need to put it and have the five foot pounds that I want. Um, and of course you you need to confirm that the whatever the range is you have the uh, accuracy and the power to be able to stack dispatch your uh, critters with, with relative efficiency. Now then, the Crossman 760, which I used in this experiment, worked out really well up to five foot pounds. And here you see pigeons and starlings and rats and so on. Uh, the foot pounds required for dispatching these critters. So, you know. Alright, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, tune again, I hope.